Hey there, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you seven useful things you didn't know that the FL Studio Mixer could do. If you're new, you know what to do, hit the subscribe button and let's get started. So the first thing is how to actually increase your FX slots. Now, in FL Studio, you typically have 10 slots for um, every insert that you have. For example, if you look at my lead vocal right here, I already have almost all the insert slots, that is the slots maxed out. So if I want to keep adding more effects, because there could be a ton of reasons why I may want to add more effects, right? Now, how do I do that when I have just 10 slots? It's very easy. That's where this routing in FL Studio comes really, really useful. All I have to do is just select it from the master, all right? And then link it into an empty channel that has nothing running on it, okay? And when I link it, then make sure you reset it so that you can have it at the default volume level, okay? Then I can rename this as maybe my lead box 2. Or maybe just lead box continue, right? Then maybe color it um, accordingly, right? So now I can keep adding more effect. Now I have 20 slots, all right? I have 10 more slots available to me. And I can keep doing this. I can have another one again, making it 30 and on and on. So the second thing I really like here by First Studios Mixer is that you can actually do a real time mono test. So now all I have to do is come to my master channel, right? And then just come to this knob right here. This this is stereo separation. It wants to be more stereo. I'll come right here. And it wants to be more mono. Come all the way in right here. And it's going to be plain in mono. All right. So this is really helpful to cross check your mix. Make sure that you can see here really good details of your mix. And make sure it still sounds balanced in mono. All right. So this is really, really helpful for mixing. So the third feature about FS Studios Mixer is that it makes it so easy for you to organize your project. And when I mix, most times I do try to organize as much as I possibly can. So in a mixer, it makes it also easy. So let's say these are my vocals, okay? I can just highlight this and then highlight as many as I want for my vocals. Let's just highlight all the way. I can rename this. I can name this vo vocals, all right? And then maybe give it a unique color. Let's say um, maybe something like this. And then press enter. You see, it's going to rename everything to vocals and give it a unique color, all right? And if maybe you also want to even group it further, you can create groups, right? When I right click it, you see, it goes to create group, all right? So when I create group, I name, name it vocals. Now you can see there's this bar that appears, okay? You can see that. This bar that appears after 55 and before 43, this locks it in to let you know that every sound within this bar is the um, group for vocals. And you can do the same thing for drums, right? These are my drum sounds. I can just highlight everything, right click, and then just create group, okay? Um, drums. You can see now this is for drums as well. It's all selected. So this can help your mixer look much more organized. So the third feature I like about FL Studios Mixer is that it makes it easy for you to rename files. So if I hold shift and I click on it, I can rename this maybe vocals, I can maybe lead, lead vocals, all right, name. Or if I just highlight a couple, right, then I hold shift, I can name this vocal um, background that is BG, all right. Now you can see now just this three are going to be named vocal BG and I can also change the color for just that group as well. Maybe I want it to be darker. So you can see now it's darker, right? So every studio makes it so easy for you to use organization in your mixer. So the fourth feature I like about first use mixer interface is that you can actually reverse changes. So let's say, for example, I pan this all the way here and then maybe I play with my levels, okay? And maybe I don't want to have that anymore. There are two ways I can do this. I can either press Alt and left click to, re to reverse it back to the original settings, or I can just completely wipe out the entire settings right here by just coming right here, reset to default um, track states, and it's going to, you can say this will remove everything and all plugins. You cannot undo this, all right? So the fifth feature that I actually like about FL Studio's Mixer interface is that you can actually save your presets into a folder or a hard drive. So let's say, for example, I like what I did on my lead vocals, right? I like this preset and I plan to use it more often on projects, okay? I can just select this, come right, right click it, go to file, then go to save track mixer state. So I can save this anywhere, okay? I can save, now this is the default preset section, okay? I can save this, let me just save this um, vocal chain new, all right? So when I come right here and I come to mixer presets, 
now you can see vocal chain i can simply drag and drop it right here and it's going to load it up right so this is really easy to use to save your presets you can have it on your hard drive on your folder anywhere you want to save your presets to and the seventh tip which is the last but not the least tip is that it also makes it so easy for you to delete presets that you find that are no longer useful to you some DAWs make it difficult for you to take them out. You have to find the folders manually, then delete them. But if you see, you can do that from the interface itself. Let's say, for example, I no longer need the one I just saved that is vocal chain. You can just right click it, then delete file, and it's going to be gone. You won't find it there anymore. So it's really easy to use, makes it so flexible. So if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to leave me with a thumbs up so other people that need helpful videos like this can easily find it right here on YouTube. And if you found it helpful, of course, please hit the subscribe button down below so you can keep up to date with more tutorials from me. I remember Sir Classy. This is Essie Suits. See you soon. Cheers.